John here, guys, and today we're talking about the gnarly FPV Primo. Check out this tiny 65 millimeter brushless frame that has been around. Is it before or after the toothpick? I honestly can't even recall. Um, the toothpick, though, has been getting a lot of the popularity, but guess what? A lot of times there's no toothpicks to be had, and what can be had is this awesome frame. Now, at first glance, what is some of the things that you notice? Uh, and one is that it looks like a much more complete product. Uh, I really, really like all of the design, um, thought, and engineering that's gone into this frame. There is quite a lot to like, so I'm gonna try to cover this frame as quickly as possible. One thing I wanna note though is that it literally comes with a plethora of accessories. I mean, do you know what a plethora is? Did you say I have a plethora of piñatas? A what? A plethora. Oh yes, <laughs> you have a plethora. Jefe. What is a plethora? Uh, now, this, uh, look at all these little red TPU battery holder things. These are four different options that you can attach on here with one of the screws that comes in the hardware kit to be able to use whatever type of battery. So this looks like it'd be like for a 2S 300 milliamp. This is if you're gonna be using two of the 1S 300 milliamps. Um, this is for like a longer and thinner. I think this maybe is like a 450. And this is like a Tiny Hawk style 1S battery holder right there. And see, they all have these little grooves with a screw hole on the bottom right there. And how it works is, you see those two little grooves on the bottom of the frame? All you do is seat it in there like that. And uh, then there's a screw that's gonna hold the holder in place. And then it's like, wow, they thought of literally everything. Once you have a battery in there, it should sit nice and flush on the ground, ready for takeoff. And it even comes with a set of the King Kong, I believe this is the King Kong, the 65 millimeter props. Not bad. I mean, wow, that's really thoughtful and nice of them because a lot of times when you're assembling those projects or the projects like this, the, the props may be an afterthought. It may be something that you didn't have and you might be waiting on the long boat from overseas to bring those to you. And uh, by them including a set, it's ensuring that that's not gonna be the last piece that's gonna keep you from getting up in the air. I really, really like that. Um, there is a mounting available for your camera. I believe this is probably spec for an EOS 2, I would imagine, but there's also another little camera adapter, little thingy in there that you can use to hold an even smaller camera. I believe that's what that is for, uh, which is also very cool. So it is quite flexible. You have a little hole out there in the top uh, built-in antenna holder, which we're always all kind of struggling on on where to put our antennas on these tiny little micro builds. Um, the 65 millimeter brushless craze is sweeping the hobby, um, being led by the resurgence in popularity by the toothpick. But Gnarly FPV is really saying like, look guys, we're here, we've been here, we're still gonna be here. And if you don't wanna wait, if you don't wanna pre-order, then this is what you're gonna need to get on. Now I will note, that this looks to be a very specific motor pattern. There's not a lot of flex in there, so I believe I've seen people putting some trash can motors, so I'll probably do the same. I wanted to get um, the review of this frame out there because the toothpick craze is sweeping the hobby for sure, and there's just not a lot of stock to go around. So if you want to get in on that action uh, and you need to get a frame, you know, try one of these out. I'm very impressed with all the different options that it comes with. Um, you can note from my toothpick videos, I was using just a random zip tie to hold my battery on. So I really think it's uh, quite thoughtful of them to include all of this stuff for you. So you're pretty much accounted for no matter what battery um, that you use. Now look at this canopy design for just a second. You notice there's a little plenty of room down there. I believe that's gonna be enough room for your um, your stack and your VTX on top if you're using the 200 milliwatt version. Um, it's, a, it's a thin TPU, I believe, but it's 
pretty nice and strong. I think you're not going to have any problems with your components getting banged up um, safely in there. I really love how far this motor protection sticks out both on the sides and the tip to keep the motor safe. That's kind of the weak point for this class is that all the motors are not particularly sturdy, um, but that should keep you from banging them up. So I appreciate that. So look for in the next week or so, I'm going to have one of these build up flying around. I really, really love the design and I'm very happy that they sent me the red version because I'm probably going to use some red trash can motors. But thanks to those guys for sending me this in. Can't wait to get it built up and flying and stay tuned guys. Thanks.